Landowners often overlook the borders and woodlands on their property as potential sources of added value to wildlife, the dinner table, and also their pocketbook. Permaculture is a good way to utilize these areas for specialized crops such as berries, mushrooms, and nuts. Growing these crops will help you diversify your food sources and or income streams, increase wildlife habitat, and make your property more resilient to changes in the climate or the marketplace. Today we're planting some fruit trees and a few berry bushes in the borders around this hay meadow. Ideally, trees and shrubs should be planted in the fall after they have become dormant or in the spring before new growth appears. Container or bald and burlap trees with leaves on them can be planted just about any time but will require more care to successfully establish. The hole for your new plant should be dug with a minimum of six inches clearance around the root ball or spread of the bare roots. It should be at least six inches deeper than the ball and two to three feet deep for bare root plants depending on the size and length of the root. Dig your holes with vertical sides and loosen the soil in the bottom of the holes to give the roots a strong start. Container grown plants should be planted so that the top of the ball rests one to two inches above the soil level. This allows for settling and helps maintain proper air circulation for the roots. Cut away the container, remove any wire or tags around the trunk, and place the plant in the hole. Backfill around the plant with loose soil and slowly fill the hole with water. Let the soil settle. Repeat this process until you've reached the desired level. Generally, newly planted trees and shrubs should be watered thoroughly once a week for at least one year through spring, summer, and fall. When the temperatures drop below freezing, be sure to give your plants plenty of mulch to protect the fragile root system. Get started now with some permaculture additions to your property and enjoy bountiful harvests for generations to come.